My dissertation um, looked at how fields maintain their core ideas. So I looked at American public libraries from 1876 to 2006 and looked at the core ideas of that field and how the people in the field uh, worked to keep those ideas alive over 130 years. Well, I was interested in institutions, essentially field level uh, regulations and policies and norms and beliefs that organizations have to work within. So I had looked at a lot of research that people had been doing on how institutions change and I was really curious about the other side of that. If things were changing, what were people doing to try to keep things the same? So I wanted to see how ideas were maintained inside of a field and I ran across uh, these ideas in libraries. They were, they, they had been talking about for over a hundred years democracy and education and I wondered how they kept those ideas alive for so long. Well the key finding was that a field is better able to adapt to social and technological changes if they do have core ideas and particularly if those core ideas are flexible so that they're able to take those ideas and reinterpret them to make sure that their identity that they have in the field matches with the changes that they're trying to meet. So for example with libraries with the core idea of education they were able to reinterpret that over time to allow them to adapt to changes like the introduction of computers and the internet and still feel like they were librarians over all of that time. I am going to be an assistant professor at Louisiana State University. Well, one thing that I think really makes the University of Oregon stand out is that when you come in as a doctoral student, the professors here treat you as a colleague. They immediately are looking for ways that you can do research with them. They're interested in inviting you in to work on projects with them. And this gives you the opportunity from the first year that you're here to start seeing how research is really done. You also get the opportunity to teach a number of classes, which lets you, you know, not go out into the workforce not having taught. So you've already worked through some of the kinks of how do you put a class together, how do you choose a, a textbook, and how do you work with students effectively. The advice I would give is take advantage of the fact that we have very friendly faculty here. Uh, talk to them, bounce your ideas off of them, know that your ideas early on are going to need a lot of other input to really come together. So take advantage of the fact that you've got some really smart people who are also very nice. Um, I think the thing that I wish I had known when I started is that these things always take longer than you expect them to. And generally, that's okay. You just keep working on it, you do the next step, and eventually it does all come together. And besides, it's a lot of fun along the way.